All right, so today is a super interesting video. I am here. It is Saturday uh, the 10th, which means today is the last operating day of the season for Marineland. Um, some people say it's forever. Some people say it's not. Uh, right now it's just a rumor, but we'll truly see. It's about to go off right now. I haven't been on it yet, but uh, hopefully here in a second we will go. Uh, Skyscreamer. It is 455 feet, I believe, but it is on this ginormous hill. So we'll see the people launch. There they go. A really, I have been on it before, just not today. Crazy ride. You can see Toronto on a super clear day. You can see Buffalo. I can see Buffalo way off in the distance over there. Uh, and right now we're just checking out Dragon Mountain, which did not open this year. But there is also a new ride that they put together over there called Star Voyager. And that looks to be almost completely completed. So I don't know why they would build new rides if they weren't going to open next year. And here comes the dropping down. I really don't understand why they would build new rides if they know they weren't going to open or if they were low on cash or whatever. That money for that ride could have been money for the park and whatever they needed, which kind of doesn't make sense on that part. But who knows? I'm, I'm not the expert. I don't know too, too much. But um, we're going to go around, check out everything that's open, uh, just see last day activities of the season, but maybe forever. Who knows? So I'm right here at the Bowtie Inversion on Dragon Mountain, just checking it out. Uh, this did not open this year, um, but you know, with all the stuff that's going on, hopefully, maybe, she will come back to life. You can see, it's where you uh, come out of the tunnel from the other side, where uh, the old replica, they wanted a, I think it was three quarters size of Niagara Falls. I'm not too, too sure, but you'd see it right there. Then you'd come out, do the inversion, and just keep on going down the path. And then you turn around that corner, and the station's right there. And the lift hill right there has two chain motors, or two chains that bring you up the hill. So right about there, that little building up there, that's where, uh, that's where the two of them actually, what you call it, switch. And you go up to the top, and right there, you can actually see uh, one of the first inversions. I believe that's the second one. The first one, I believe, is right there in the trees. That's the second one. Then you go around the bend, and then you go into a mid-course, and then that's where you go into uh, the volcano. But this is definitely one of the best custom arrow loopers ever of all time. And. Uh, Hopefully it gets a couple more years out of her. I believe uh, this coaster is 34 years old. And don't don't quote me on it, but pretty old for especially an old uh, Aero, which uh, if you don't know, Aero does not make rides anymore, which kind of sucks. But yeah, this is definitely one of the best Aero custom loopers of all time. Probably the best. But yeah. All right, so now we're by the new for 2020. Was first, uh, I believe it got announced in 2020. Uh, but this is a Zier star shape, and due to the pandemic, it had a hard time being built. And it looks to be completely finished now. Um, besides just a couple of things that I can see, uh, like way back in the distance over there, uh, you can see. The railings aren't fully put up yet, but other than that, this is uh, North America first, so it's, uh, it's pretty insane, actually. I've seen uh, a couple of the ride POVs online, and yeah. This is where uh, Topple Tower used to be. It used to be an old uh, Huss Topple Tower. It got removed and got replaced by this, and obviously you can hear. Skyscreamer from anywhere in the park. 
Oh yeah, that ride's absolutely nuts. All right, so I was just out here looking at uh, the deer, the elk, and the buffalo. I was just out here, just a mire. Look at the back here. That's uh, the volcano uh, element, or whatever you would like to call it, where it just uh, goes around and it shoots out. Comes back to that right there. There's like another little mid course right there. Goes into the tunnel, into the super, uh, into their bow tie inversion. But yeah, I just thought it was cool just to catch a little glimpse of it in the back. Well, the deer and elk are over here. Super cool. <laughs> just a quick point here. Just look at the. I guess it would be theming, but just like the entrance into the station over there. For 34 years ago, that is not too bad. It is super rare. And yeah. Here's that little bow tie right there. Right here's the signage. Dragon Mountain. And the little facade there looks like a Kind of like a dragon or like a mouth. It's gonna eat you. Super cool. Alright, so we're just heading over to uh, the teacups. And for the last day, it's actually pretty busy. I'm very surprised. Here's a uh, magical experience. It's, I believe, it's bring, trying to, uh, it's trying to come back from the dead. Sorry. Um, I don't know. It was defunct. Heard it's coming back. Good to see it if it does open. It's another old uh, Hus ride. So if they do bring it back to life, it will be actually super cool to see it in action. But yeah, we're gonna go over this one of my favorite spots over here actually, where you can uh, feed the fish. So we'll be there in a second. All right, so here's one of my favorite spots actually. It's where you can feed all the fish and ducks, super friendly. Let's see if there's any, they're all over there right now. You should probably see them, they are massive, massive fish. Try not to drop my camera in the water. But these things are absolutely huge. And then yeah, you can see super nice and kind of relaxing actually. Be surprised that you can feed uh, fish in the middle of an amusement park, but. That dude's huge. Look at these guys. Mammoths. It's feeding time again. At Arctic Cove right now. Yeah. See them all getting fed right now. Very vocal. Oh! Extremely vocal. It's kind of cool to hear how they, uh, vocalize when they're getting fed.
midway through our trip, the sun actually came out, which uh, maybe it uh, means brighter days ahead, hopefully. Hopefully some new rides. And right here is Polar Splash, actually, which is now closed for the season, but I've seen a lot of people in here before. Really, really great theming. Super cool. And then the tower. Sky Screamer up there. We'll go back up there a little bit later. All right, so the penguins went in for the night, but I absolutely love this dome. You can hear them in there talking away. But I love this, like, I don't even know what this design is, but it is so amazing. And just imagine in the old days, when this whole place would be packed with shows, it would be absolutely nuts. But now they have penguins in here. Well, not right now, they're in the back. But they went in for the day. Absolutely love the roof in this place. It is amazing. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just so cool. Yeah. All right, it might get a little loud in here because of the waterfall. But just check out the mural on the wall up there. It's actually so cool how they use this space. It is super confined but super cool. Alright. I love how they do this. How they use all the space that is underneath, above, where uh, where we were just looking. That's the underground viewing. But check out how they use all this space underneath and the super, like, cave theming. I love it. It's super, super cool. All right. Another thing I love down here, it's like a whole cave theme, is when they first built this, I don't know if this was down here. I'm pretty sure it was but they have a whole bunch of fish exhibits and this building is really, really well used. Like, uh, it takes up the whole space. So there's no like kind of dead space in the building because above us is the stadium style seating for when they used to have the big shows in uh, where the penguins are now. Just kinda, we'll just come and uh, take a look at some of these. Some of these guys are just absolute mammoths. Like this dude, should name him. Cause that dude probably weighs more than me. I promise you. And here's some more small little fishies. We hold up. That's who he is. A pachu. Pichu pachu. Uh, and here's some of the other ones: sturgeons, longnose gar. Open. And yeah, they're super, super cool. All right. And then when you go around, it brings you to the old entrance, I believe, which is right here. This is the aquarium sign. This whole area here. Crazy how they used to design the whole place. This place does look in extremely good shape. None of these bars are really peeling or rusting or anything. So I think they could get definitely a lot more years. But just the roof and the symmetric of it is super, super cool. I, I don't know what it is, but it just gets me going. And then, yeah. See, look at the old ticket center right here. Still turns. Oh, yeah, the security camera up there. Don't catch it. But yeah, super cool. Just to think over the 60 years this park has been here, how many thousands and thousands of people have sat there and watched shows. And whoever designed this building, I can't give them more credit, but this roof is amazing. I think it's so cool. I don't know. Yeah.
I just, I love that roof. And the old speakers in the castle themed uh, little show place. They built all this right here for uh, the penguins when they came last year in 2019. All right, yeah, 2020, I believe. Um, and yeah, they built like this whole platform with the bubbles and stuff so they could, uh, they could chill out. All right, so we just got off uh, the last ride of the season on Skyscreamer. Absolutely great. Crazy view right now because of the sunset and you can see Dragon Mountain. You see Buffalo, you can see Toronto. Honestly, a great, great ride. I don't know what it is with the view combined on the hill. So we're like a hundred and I think it's a hundred and eighty foot hill. Absolutely crazy. One of a kind for sure. You can see the falls, you see Toronto, all the skyscrapers. It's amazing. We're gonna try to be the last ones to walk out of the park for the 2021 season. So yeah, let's go. Alright, just some quick notes uh before that's it. We're walking up to the front, but uh I just want to say, I hope this park, it was its 60th this year. Hopefully it's around for 61. Um, I Obviously the animals got to go, but if someone does pick it up or if it stays the same family, I really hope they uh, really keep on coming with the investments and uh, hopefully get an RMC Raptor if you're listening, buy one. Um, but yeah, I really hope this park stays uh, some esque of an amusement park because it is truly one of a kind. There's no like plastered ads anywhere, like Six Flags, Cough Cough, but it's, I don't know, it's just, it's something special, something you don't see every day. And with a super rare custom Aero Looper, it's definitely uh, the custom Looper and the SNS. It's, it's nuts. So yeah, we're gonna exit right now. That's gonna do my day here at Marineland. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like some of the content that I'm putting out, not too sure. But uh, yeah, that will do it for the 2021 60th year anniversary of Marineland. I hope the park can see better days and really come out of this pandemic. But yeah, catch you guys in the next video, later.